Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Ladder Resident Evil. Yes, uh, so we're gonna finish up the residence in this update. Oh yeah, from what I remember in the last update, there were like sharks and boxes and... Yeah, we're, we're done with that. Uh, there's a map here. It's not a very big place. And there's a hole in the wall. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, no! Not the bees! So essentially, this is just a beginner's trap. <laughs> Um, yes, because, um, if you don't look in the hole, they don't attack you. Alright, <laughs> yeah, Jill, use your shotgun in order to kill the bees. Well, it's, how else would you do it? You should use your self-defense gun. No. Okay, so this, basically, this room is filled with bees, and killing them will do nothing, because they, they'll just respawn. Oh, great. I think. But, there's a corpse, here, with a thing. Ah, bug spray. And uh, as long as you keep moving, uh, they can't really hurt you, actually. Oh, and that's it for the beehive. Well, we gotta, we gotta destroy it now. Ah, uh, okay. We're gonna do it from here. Because ah. unlike the, the other guy, it's a, it's a kill a matri matriarch. Okay. We're killing the matriarch, you. It's a, this is a very... Um, yeah, that's kind of misogynist. <laughs> this is a very misogynist game. Unless this is a matriarch that is a killer, maybe. That would be the opposite, I suppose. <laughs> But at this point, I think it's getting a little bit too philosophical. Oh dear, this this game is very uh, cerebral. Yes. Whenever you're not pushing buttons, you're here in order to see what society is all about. Right, there's a key under the beehive. I'm not sure if you can grab it if the bees are still there. I've never tried, actually. That might be like... A speedrun tactic, don't even bother with the bees. Yeah, but even then you still have to know what you're doing, because it seems as if this is a pretty usually, easy way for you to get killed. Well, usually when you're doing a speedrun, you know what you're doing. Yeah, I guess. Alright, and the door is right there. Okay, at least it's convenient. I gotta check the bathroom first. As always. <laughs> I have my priorities. Oh yes, another sink to empty. A tub. A tub sink. And we get... Absolutely nothing! Oh, it's the first time that happened. There, there's there's nothing in this room. Absolutely nothing. I even checked the map. To ch yeah, the room appears green, meaning there's nothing. Yeah, it's just that at one point you just end up being locked in a routine, so you're like, Oh, I'm gonna go at the bathroom. Obviously there's gonna be something. There's a bunch of books on this shelf that look different. Also a typewriter that you can use to save. Hmm... What could this mean? Uh-oh. I think that means you're in a place where you better save, otherwise you're probably gonna end up meeting a premature... Nah, we don't, we don't need to save. <laughs> uh... Well, this is a pretty long file about uh, the big plant that's in the residence, again. Apparently there's a chemical that we can use to destroy it. Uh -huh. Apply direct uh, directly at the root, and five seconds later, the plant is dead. I don't think that's possible, but... In an order game, everything is possible. I mean, I guess I don't really know much about botany, but... I don't think poison could spread that fast in a plant. Uh, Alright, and there's a bunch of, uh, uh, chemicals and colors. And now we have to jam the book into the bookshelf. 
Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. We have to solve a puzzle. Ah. Uh, it's okay. not very complicated. Right, so behind this door, I'm just gonna spoil that, there's the plant. We don't want to go there yet. Uh-oh. Uh, so this is interesting, there's actually two ways of dealing with the plant. You can just go in with your guns and attack it, deal with it with a bo like a boss. It's a boss fight. Or you can do the thing they told you about in the book. Yeah, which is to go find a root. Uh, we'll make a chemical that will destroy it. Also, you uh, remember those, uh, irises? Oh, yeah. They all had a color, and you associate that color to the the pool table, the the balls, oh, numbered boy. balls, and okay. there we go. That was kind of far-fetched. No. Well, I don't not know. This really. Is not, this is not the kind of thing I would have thought I, of. But then again, I, I'm bad I solved this puzzle the first time when I played the game. I just, it wasn't very complicated. Right, so this is this this is a puzzle that's kind of tedious. It's it's busy work, the puzzle. So we have two chemicals and there's on this wall an equation. And here you can see that every number corresponds to a color, every color corresponds to a chemical. Oh boy. And one is water. I hope you like where this is going. Oh boy. So I suppose you have to do math and all sort of thing in order to figure out the... Well, the first thing is uh, 1 plus 3, 1 is water, 3 is UMB number 3, red. Uh oh. So we mix those two. We get NP4. Then we add some yellow 6. Basically, we're just mixing the, the yellow and the red um, chemical in very precise ways, because otherwise, what the book explains is that if you don't do that very precisely like they tell you, uh, they create uh, toxic vapors. Oh, and you get poison. Which I don't, I, don't think that's, that's, I don't think that's how chemicals work. I think they'll create toxic vapors no matter how you mix them. I mean, I mean maybe the water helps, but it's... I don't I don't know chemistry. This seems not like accurate though. Yeah, essentially I just guess that if you overflow a, a thing then ah here we go. Now we have the product yeah. that we need. We have the uh, the product. It's, don't shake it, Jill. It's a distinctively brown liquid. It's it's attached, it's glued somehow to the bottle. Now you just don't see the lid. Oh, that uh, yeah, that must be it. Right, so you'd think you could just walk in the plant room and just spread uh, the chemical on it, but no, you have to find the roots. Yeah, that's what I would have guessed. And guess where the roots are? Uh, oh boy, we have to go back to yeah. the uh, aqua ring or whatever. Yeah, the 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 underwater. Aquarium. Uh, there's like a room we didn't go to that's right next to the shark room. It's not too far, you know. It's it's. I mean, it seems fine. It, it's not that far. At least, t um, at least, please tell me we don't have to do the box pushing puzzle. Again. Well, the thing is, it's not too far until you realize that the water is gone, so the boxes are gone too. Uh. So, um, you know what? We're gonna speed that up. Oh god. <laughs> Because this is boring as hell. Oh, I hope that there was this actual music in the game. Oh uh, no, this is this music was not in the game. <laughs> do, 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 do. We're gonna murder a shark and we're gonna run around the place. Right, and the roots are right here. Ah. Uh. Do not approach the roots; they will kill you. I uh hope. -oh. Also, guess what else is in this room? Uh, oh, you probably don't need the bottle anymore. Absolutely nothing! 
This is this is the sole purpose for that room. Yeah. Too so now we gotta bow. We gotta go back up. All right. Please tell me that we're gonna get banjo music again. I we're gonna speed that up. Yeah. I don't, we don't need to see that. Or yes! I mean, I mean, I could have, I could have uh, done a fade, but that would be less funny. I freaking love that music. Holy shit. Well, you should play uh, Rayman Origins then. Oh yeah, I played some of it, but I think I gave up on something. I just, I just guess it wasn't my type of game. I. Oh, it's great though. Yeah, it's good, but it's just part of me just wants to get every single collectible, and it just will slow me all the way down. I I did that, and it wasn't that hard. I 100% uh, that. I finished that game 100%. It wasn't... It was less annoying than other games of the same kind. Uh oh. So there you go. Uh, we, we defeated the plant with the power of science and the mind. <laughs> we defeated the plant with the power of math. Psych! We didn't really do it! Uh oh. Fuck you, player! You didn't beat the plant! What the hell is this thing? This is such a fucking dick move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, at least we got we got held by blood device flamethrower. So I mean, if if you go in guns blazing without the chemical, Barry doesn't save you. So in a way, it's an alternate way to destroy that plant. But except it's it doesn't so make any stupid. sense. It's it so fucking finished. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Capcom. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? I was a plant. What the hell's going on in this place? Experiments. Barry, we've been through this. You've seen the, the scientist's letter. Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. I, you know, I <laughs> we should split up again and investigate. Make up your oh my right. god, Perry! Yeah, you know, we've been actually kind of efficient every single time we've been together. Let's not stay together. Yeah, but it's not as exciting in the story. Also, we found the mansion key, the helmet key. Oh. The equivalent of the red key, I suppose. Yeah, because it's soaked in blood. And also it unlocks everything else. Uh -huh. Barry sure is uh, looking at stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so we're pretty much we're done with the resonance. We're gonna go back to um, the, the mansion, mansion now. Uh -huh. Oh, an herb. I gotta get them. But yeah, that sure was a residence. Yeah, it it was an evil residence. <laughs> oh. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange. Yeah, you couldn't creatures. possibly like co I come understand. our way. Anyone you had to disappear. <laughs> Did you notice, Barry? It sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is... What do you think the standard... I agree. <coughs> the standard uh, STARS operation is... There rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... But either way, okay, I thought that Barry was I'll really flaky when he saved us with that flame drawer. You no, know, I imagine the standard stars operation is uh, saving cats from trees. <laughs> I guess so. Also, uh, the thing, the things that Wesker was shooting at were there's just bees. <laughs> I, I, I guess it's neat that they thought of including that. Like he wasn't just shooting at nothing. I don't know. I, I thought it would have been funnier if he just shot nothing. <laughs> I, I guess. Also, you can walk over the, yeah, because the, the holes because the plant is dead. Yep. 
and I need to check on my inventory again. Oh, I thought you were going to the bathroom. Also. Yeah, since the fuel here is completely useless, I'm I'm still gonna pick some up for later. Though I don't actually know if I'm ever gonna use that. <laughs> yeah, because honestly, we haven't seen a zombie in a while. We have seen one last up, some last update, but they were all in rooms that you're only gonna visit once, so there's no point in burning them. Yeah, they can be alive all that you want. Like they're not they're not gonna change into fast zombies. Unless you're in the same room. Yeah, and those are rooms that you pretty much don't need to come back to after a while. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha team. Come in. This is Jill. T Jill. We, the radio is broken. We've been that. through this. Over. <laughs> Sounds so frustrated. This is Brad. Brad? Brad! This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Throw a rock or something. Brad, can you hear me? <laughs> Brad. Brad! Shit. It's broken. <laughs> Do you have memory issues, Jill? I don't know. I don't remember where it was mentioned that it was broken, so maybe I have <laughs> memory issues too. I think you do too, because there was a cutscene where the exact same thing happened. Brad called, and Jill was like, Oh shit, the radar is broken. Well, maybe it fixed itself over night. That's not how radios work. Th there's a dog, but I don't know where he is, because camera angle. Yeah. Whoops! Oh, still dog. Hello. Also, these dogs sound like monkeys whenever they're being not fit. <laughs> Monkeys? I don't know. <laughs> it's just Have you ever this... seen a monkey, Psych? Yeah. I love. Are I love you a monkey? Those... I love when the... whenever these cutscenes just uh, end up deviating from the door opening. Yeah. Where Where are these snakes falling from? The trees? Uh, oh shit! You get infected. Uh, n I don't think so. Because otherwise she'd be holding her stomach. Uh, maybe she yeah, I guess these these snakes don't always poison you. Yeah, I guess. Or maybe they never do when I was wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried to get myself poisoned over and over. Then you're playing this game wrong. Oh, jeez. I have to do the whole LP. Yeah. <laughs> over. Get bit Restart. by all of the snakes. This isn't 100% LP, I'm sorry. Hey, there's stuff here. Yeah, was that here before? Nope. That's new. Okay, so... Who's the the note on the wall is also new. All that? Well, if you read the note on the wall... It's Barry. Ah. Oh. And he also fixed uh, the broken doorknob. Oh, uh, he's so kind. So we don't we don't have to um, be careful about this. We can just open the door as many times as we want, and then close it because that's what you do. Yeah. This is still the part of horror games that I don't get. Why do I... you need to close all of the doors? Because look, psych. Just... It's something you have to accept. You have to keep the doors closed. Here you see, closing all the doors did nothing. Also, say hello to the hunter. Oh. Somehow that reminds me of those little reptiles from Alone in the Dark. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Except they have way more polygons and they seem a lot faster. <laughs> Well, I don't know if the original Resident Evil Hunter had that many polygons. Well, this so, yeah, these guys still have more than Alone in the Dark. Maybe. These guys are gonna be 
we're gonna be fighting them all over the mansion for a while. Oh uh, they're basically everywhere now, uh, and they take several shotgun shells to die. They're right. also really fast and they hurt a lot. Alright, so you know what time it is. In order to save up on shotgun ammo, it's time to bring out the survival knife. Um, no, I don't... I can't, <laughs> I can't imagine how you'd be able to kill one of these things with a survival knife. Probably with a lot of perseverance. I, I guess. Well, anyway. See you next time.